What is going on, everybody? Welcome back. So, another episode in our Bushcraft Skills series. Today, we're going to make a fire with our flint, in this case, piece of chert, and steel. Uh, what we're going to need is you're going to need your char cloth that we made in a previous video and a nice little addition to your fire kit is some twisted jute twine this is oil treated it's extremely flammable all right gather up our supplies let's go outside and get it done i got our, our supplies here to start a flint and steel fire using char cloth now what I'm using to build the base of my bird nest is just some grass clippings. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of work them around. I want to get them, I guess the operable word, I want more fibers exposed. I want it fuzzy. Okay. Now, a nice little trick that makes your job a lot easier is to get yourself some twisted jute twine. This is oil treated, it's extremely flammable, and it'll help you have some successes as you learn how to do this. Cut a piece of it, break it down until it's smaller parts. You just want fibers, you want like hairs. Just keep breaking it down. And we're gonna add this to our bird's nest and this will give us that extra little oomph, okay? When you get this broke down, and you've already prepared quite a bit here, we're gonna add this to our bird's nest. Now that's all ready to go. We take our flint and steel and our char cloth, I'm gonna tear it in half. And then I'm just going to add some more tears here and there to expose more fibers. Okay. I'm going to put this on our piece of chert. We got our steel here. Nope, didn't catch that one. You always want to find a good sharp edge and turn this up slightly okay we caught one right there okay now we got a good enough ember that's not gonna go out on us. We're gonna take our bird's nest. We're gonna place this right there. And there we go. And then that would go into our prepared bundle of wood to start our fire. And it's that easy, you just keep blowing on it. But see, the real trick there was the twisted jute twine. It's oil treated and that goes up. But if you have dry enough material, uh, like long bladed grass that you've really worked into your bird's nest, it'll burst into flame like that too. You got a good coal going. And that's how we make a flint and steel fire using char cloth. So uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. And uh, I hope to see you out into the bush and the woods practicing your fire making skills. Have a good day.